What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Listen, Trash Cam Thompson has officially let the cat out of the bag, and the cat is that he wants to get back together with his long-suffering girlfriend, Khloe Kardashian, who he was once actually secretly engaged to, and it was none other than Kourtney Kardashian who got him to spill the damn beans. So this happened in the midst of a confrontation that they were having on the most recent episode of The Kardashians, where Courtney really takes him to task for his abusive treatment of her sister, Khloe Kardashian. And um, so Tra Trash Can starts explaining himself. He claims that he feels disgusted with himself every time he cheats on Khloe, even though it's something that he did multiple times. So it's like, how disgusted can you be if you keep on doing this? At which point, Courtney asks him, dude, are you a sociopath or a psychopath? Like people who just can't feel empathy? Because in order to hurt someone, on this level, there's something missing. There's an empathy chip missing there. And I really admire her for asking him that straight up instead of playing nice with him the way that the rest of the sisters do. Most notably, um, Kim Kardashian, who's always hanging around with him like he's her new boyfriend or baby daddy or something like that. You know what I mean? So I really, really definitely want to give Courtney her props for that. So Trash Can claims that no, he's not a sociopath or a psychopath, but he does understand why Courtney would ask that question. And so next, Courtney's like, okay, well, what's your MO with all of this? We're on the trash can apology tour. So what's the reason behind it? Are you trying to get back together with, you know, Chloe? And so at this point, the trash can lets the cat out of the bag. And I'm going to give you a direct quote of what it is that he said to Courtney Kardashian in response to her question. He said, First of all, would I love to be with your sister and spend the rest of my life with her? Of course. My goal is to have my family back as a whole unit. Even though I never grew up with a happy household, I always wanted it. But I've done things that put myself in a position out of that. All I can do is be the best dad I can be, paying it forward to those that are looking up to me and setting a good example. Can we get into how big of a joke this is that he's talking about, oh, I want to be a good dad, the best dad I could be. Meanwhile, he's got one child that he's never seen a day in his life. He refuses to see the child because the child is a product of uh, of an affair he had on Chloe. That is Theo Thompson. And then he's got another child who is his firstborn child, Prince Thompson, who, according to the baby mama, Jordan Craig, he abandoned too. So how could you possibly, Trash Can, be trying to be the best dad you can be? Meanwhile, you've got, allegedly, two abandoned children on your hands. Why don't you step up for those kids? That way, we can take you seriously when you claim that you want to undo um, the things that you experience in your life, which is growing up fatherless and whatnot. It really is just disturbing to me, the cognitive dissonance that um, he exhibits, both in his treatment of Chloe and claiming that, oh my God, it made me feel so bad to, to cheat on her constantly. I was disgusted with myself. That's why I had to do it at least 20 times, you know? Um, and now I want to be the best dad. That's why I've allegedly abandoned and two of my kids, you know, and then he also says, yeah, I want to be a good example to them. On what planet are you going to be a good example to your kids when they've got two siblings that they have no relationship with, allegedly, because you've got no relationship with the other two? Please. Make it make sense. The math ain't mathin' on there. I really, I just, I can't. So um, Trash Can also told uh, Courtney that when it comes to Chloe, he always tells her when it comes to True and having that conversation, it's on me to have that conversation because daddy failed you and mommy. Mommy didn't fail you. You're damn right. That is the case. Um, the first few times, right? But after a while, when you let a man continuously cheat on you, you got to take responsibility for playing yourself, you know? So that's what I always say as well. Sh uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Uh, for me, I don't even go to twice. Fool me once, I'm out. I'm packing my things. I'm leaving. There are way too many men on this planet for me to settle for one that has cheated on me and disrespected me. Absolutely freaking not. Um, so anyway, um, he also says that I feel like in this family, obviously talking about the Kardashians, you guys are so lucky, all the guys, because for whatever reason, it's held a priority of let's keep everyone happy and getting along and let's make sure Tristan's at Christmas Eve and everyone's there and it's one big happy family. So basically he's like, yo, the Kardashian family, it is an F boy paradise. We can F around on all of y'all 
and you're still going to have us around celebrating Christmas on your dime. Isn't that great? So when you go down the list, you've got Scott Disick, who cheated relentlessly on Courtney throughout their relationship, who's always around. Chris um, and Chloe are like his besties, always inviting him to everything despite Courtney's wishes. You've got Kanye West, who they're trying to kind of like keep in the fold and everything as well, even though he was cheating on Kim and um, talking crap about her in the press. I don't really see much of Travis Scott. I don't know if Travis Scott is a conscious person or not. Like he always just seems like a zombie. Um, so I don't really know if he's in the fold or not. Um, but then of course we've got Chloe's ex, Trash Can as well, who's being kept in the fold and coddled as if he did not psychologically and emotionally abuse the hell out of that woman. And so at this point, Courtney's not playing with him. He's like, you know, the rest of these girls might be, um, pick Misha's or something, but not I, trash can, not I. Uh, this is her exact quote. For some reason that takes a priority in this family over setting a boundary or having someone's back. So to me, the boundary thing is a shout out to Chris and having someone's back is a shout out to Kim because um, Chris has been disrespecting uh, Courtney's boundaries with Scott since like, you know, the breakup and especially when Courtney got with Travis and um, Kim obviously does not have Chloe's back because she's all out uh, running around town with trash can Thompson all the time uh, at these ball games, at these like events, at these concerts and stuff, as if that's her man, as if this man did not drag her sister through the mud and treat her like absolute garbage. I feel like even saying that trash can treated Chloe like garbage is putting it nicely. Like he was a beast, a monster, an evil demon to this girl and her sister's running around getting it with him. Absolutely not. I have a sister and let me tell you, if there was a trash can in her life, I would not be hanging out with him. I would probably be poisoning him via his drinks or something like that in the background. <laughs> so um, it's just, it's disturbing to me to watch the way that this plays out. So I'm proud of Courtney for calling it out and saying, yeah, to you, because you're the F boy who gets to skate by. It seems all well and good and great and fine and dandy. But for me, as a woman with a functioning brain who is not a pick Misha, um, I see it for the foolishness that it is, you know, um, allowing men who disrespect you to to benefit you know from you and everything and it's just not cool so um she also says it's interesting to me it's lucky for you guys um and it is great for the kids but she's saying yeah basically um this family just normalizes bad behavior in men and she's not with it and i say good for you because at the end of the day um courtney has a daughter and her daughter is penelope and so i think what she's doing is great for her daughter saying, listen, you got to set boundaries. You cannot let men consistently disrespect you. And I think it's great for her son as well. Uh, well, both of them, she's got two sons soon to, well, three now, but the third one, he's not really, you know, of age to even be thinking. Um, but for her two sons, Rain and Mace, and it's great that she's showing that women can have boundaries with you. You F with them, you're going to get cut off. So um, I love that for them and everything like that. So I think that that's really um Good. Anyway, you guys, listen, Court Chloe truly is on this uh, Trash Can Thompson pu publicity tour, apology tour. I don't know if it's because she wants to get back together with him. And so she wants to make sure that he he goes groveling to the sisters and everybody. Or if it's just because she wants him to publicly apologize finally, because she's the one who took a lot of the public lashing over his cheating and stuff because she kept taking him back. And people were like, girl, self-esteem in the gutter. What? Like, come on now. It's Black Friday. Go buy some self-esteem, you know? So she wants him to finally apologize, maybe, so that people can say, okay, well, at least he's apologized and everything um, for what he's done. And now she can start hanging out with him almost as much as Kimberly hangs out with him. I don't know. Either way, I do hope that she can enforce some stronger boundaries and stop with this. But he's my kid's dad mess. You know, even if he's your kid's dad, there's still limits. You don't have to have him around all the time for everything you do. Your sister doesn't have to go to NBA games and concerts with him. Like the stuff is just very, in my opinion, dysfunctional. But I digress. Guys, what did you think about that scene between Trash Can Thompson and Kourtney Kardashian? Did she do a really good job of letting him know where she stands in all of this? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.